Okay. So we're looking at the knee. And here we've got a knee model. So we're just looking at the plastic model to begin with. We've got up this end, the femur. So we have the quadriceps tendon, patella, and then the patella ligament attaching into the tibial tuberosity. If we want to then have a deeper look at the knee or a look inside the joint, here we can see the distal femur and then right here in the middle, the anterior cruciate ligament. Now either side, we have the menisci. So here we're looking at the lateral meniscus and you can see it's thicker at this outer edge and it's quite thin towards the inside. Between the, oh, and, and it, it attaches to the tibia via ligamentous fibres here from the anterior horn, which we can see here, which is just the end or the tip of the meniscus. Now, attaching it to the, lat, to the, sorry, to the medial meniscus is this transverse ligament of the knee. So here's the medial meniscus, here's the anterior horn, and here are the fibres that are attaching it to the tibia. Coming round to a medial point of view, we have the tibial, the nice broad tibial collateral ligament. Posteriorly, we have the posterior cruciate ligament, and then attaching into the lateral meniscus, the posterior meniscofemoral ligament. And we can just see the anterior cruciate ligament coming through here too, attaching to the medial um, surface of the lateral femoral condyle. Then, if we keep going around laterally, we find the fibular collateral ligament and again, the lateral meniscus. 